Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. Um, let's look at this pile. Okay, I see Country Doctor, Cloister Dweller. Those are the best two cards here. There is Hedge Keeper, Sheep Farmer, Master Stableman. So there are Horsemen. Yeah, lots of great combos in this pile. Um... Ooh, it's hard to pass Cloister Dweller because of how nice Cloister Dweller is, but Country Doctor can really do a lot of work. Mm. I'm gonna take Country Doctor here. Okay, uh, wow. Stockman, Tanner, Farmer, lots of great combos. Uh, I'm going to take Farmer just to deny the Hedge Keeper and the Master, I mean the Master Stableman getting Stockman. Not much I can do about that. But the Hedge Keeper getting Farmer is just crazy. Farmer is a better card than Stockman anyways. And then if Tanner comes back around, I'll definitely take Tanner to deny that as well. So I'm playing an EIK WM France Tech G4 G54 with Ken, TW, William, and Tulden. All right, um, well, Gardner is pretty good with Country Doctor. Uh, Tilemaker, I think, is pretty reasonable pick here. Village School as well, or Village Fool, especially knowing that there's some there's that one pack which doesn't have that many cards for me in it. Um, so I think I'm between Gardner and Village Fool at the moment, and I'm gonna go with Village Fool. And this pick, uh, ooh, politician or vegetable importer? Let's go with, uh, vegetable importer. Just in case I don't get another way of accumulating crops, this will work perfectly with my country doctor. Just got to make sure I think going into round 11, I have three planted fields. First action, sow. Second action, uh, family growth. Wow, Cloister Dweller came back. Oh my god, and Hedge Keeper came back. Wow. Uh, how do I not take Hedge Keeper here? Especially, no, like, it's crazy pl passing Cloister Dweller, but how do I not take Hedge Keeper, especially with Farmer in hand and knowing that I might get Master Tanner with my next pick? I think I have to do that. Wow, and I got Tanner here as well.
So hedge keeper and farmer is a good combo. Every time you go on fence, you get basically three wood and a cattle. Um, and then I use all. I can use all those. Eat all those extra cattle to points with Tanner. Um, yeah. So now the question is, how do I make country doctor village fool work in that? scheme because definitely the farmer hedge keeper combo right now is much stronger than the country combo so i'd rather set that up first this action is a uh, parquet setter actually works out nicely with hedge keeper gives me a wood every time i put a space fill a space on my farm Well, here's Manger, and it would kind of suck passing Manger to the Cloister Dweller, but I think I got other good stuff, like Artichoke Field. I With Country Doctor, I definitely want minor improvements that I can sew onto, and Artichoke Field is just perfect for that. There's also, there's also a line here with Dolly's Mother and Ram, but I'm not sure I want to go for a Cooking Hearth that early. Absinthe is always great. Artichoke Field is the pick, though. Hood Zoo is probably a reasonable second pick for me because I want to fence a small. I want to fence um, uh, like one pasture per square or one square per pasture. So if I could use Kudzu to, like, say I do three rooms, four fields, five pastures, Kudzu could take up the other three spaces, which would be nice. And then I see Threshing Machine Plow, and Threshing Machine Plow is just perfect for my country doctor. So I'll go for that. The only downside is it means that I can only farmer four times rather than five times, unless I get Abandoned Willow or something like that. Oh man, I could do Alms Basket plus Threshing Machine Plow to do my Country Doctor Grow and not even build a room. But it's probably worth it to build a room. Tuileries is uh, a way of getting grain, but I don't think I'm getting on Reedstone food that much early on. Ah, this is a difficult one. Fish trap is always nice. Especially if you get fourth and if you're fourth in round one. But I have threshing machine plow, so fills a similar role. Maybe maybe I do alms, but the thing is I want to play vegetable importer, so I don't really want to play alms basket. So it's some redundant stuff. Maybe cooking corner, just because I've got uh, vegetable importer, so cooking corner would be good use for those extra vegetables. And if I don't get a cooking hearth, I can always throw it away with a village fool. This pick... Uh, wow, bonfire, meadow, those are the two things I'm looking at. Bonfire and meadow. Hmm... The only thing with Meadow is how do I fence with Threshing Machine Plow without using all the edges already? 
I guess the advantage is it would let me farmer more times for more spaces. And it would let me cover more spaces, too. So if I farmer twi twice and then get sheep once, then I can play meadow. Okay, I think I'm convinced. And then I don't need kudzu. And then I can definitely think about building two rooms rather than just one. Uh, yeah, this pick definitely... Um, definitely gonna be absent. I might put one food on the plow space like five times in a row. <laughs> and that would probably work okay. So Nail Basket is quite good with Hedge Keeper. The only thing is I would need stone to do it every time. And I don't have a way of accumulating stone. If I'm thinking my farm is not going to be that big, then paying stone is not such a big deal. But... Mm, Huntsman Rifle is good for me as well. Getting boar, eating boar efficiently. And Kid's Corner is good with Meadow, so... Hmm. I guess Nail Basket is pretty difficult to pass up. If I take three stone and play Nail Basket, it's like a... Yeah. It'll gain me all that wood, and then I can build stables and stuff. Okay. And, uh... I mean... Alms Basket is probably not worth anything to me, so I think I'm going to take Outhouse. But I'm probably really not going to want to play Outhouse, so I'd probably rather put my clay towards a hearth or something. But just in case Om's house works out, I will take it here. I guess the other thing is I might get locked out of occupation in the first two rounds. And if that happens, maybe I can consider Om's basket with Threshing Machine Plow. Uh, nah, I don't think so. To get three green, I would have to wait until round seven to play an occupation. Probably round eight, which would suck. I didn't really consider um, Fruit Tree House. I don't really think Fruit Tree House is that strong. I would rather get an earlier room than than one food per harvest. But yeah, I have uh, I have some crazy cards. So I'll play uh, I'll play Parquet Setter with my first move. I guess I could do three wood. No, I'm gonna play Parquet Setter. Get it out of the way. Land Surveyor for Tulden. Surprised he didn't take mach uh, Threshing Machine Plow, considering that, because it lets him plow a ton of fields really early. Please feel free to ask questions in chat. I am keeping an eye on it. You can see on the right of the screen I've got it pulled up. Um, sometimes I watch it on my phone too, even if you don't see it on the screen, I can see, or on my second monitor, I might be able to 
um, to see chat, but so please uh, feel free to ask questions or whatever. And if you're watching on YouTube, comment on the video, let me know um, what you would have done in what situation, what decisions you think might have been better, or where you think um, where you think I um, I went wrong, or what you think I did well. I like hearing that too. Uh, William plays landing net, so I do two wood or two clay. Now I could do plow and get a f wood, but I think that's I think that second wood is probably worth something. Tolden might plow anyways with land surveyor. Yeah, he did. So two clay or two wood, and uh, with major minor round one, I'll go two clay get that first fireplace. Means that if Ken gets two read next round, he's in a really good spot for building the first room, which is kind of sad for me. Well, two read or occupation or three wood, all of those would be good for me. I'll go for two read. I might get expensive occupation back. I probably won't play fireplace unless sheep comes round three. Just because it's usually, like, it's not generally worth the action to play the fireplace this early unless you're going to get it for that first harvest if you need it. Especially because it's an action that's not going towards building a room. I mean, the first fireplace is still good, but if it comes around four, then it's not that uncommon that someone builds a cooking hearth in round five or round six. So, and there you go, master stableman. So, Ken's Ken's uh, laying is staking his claim to those first uh, first couple sheep. That's fine. I should have I should have remembered that. That was that was a mistake on my part. But you know what? Maybe I'll play outhouse now. Grab two wood, and uh, and I could play out house next round with my second move to get four wood. Okay, so I can do expensive occupation, and I will. I'll play uh, veggie importer here. So play my veggie importer. Seems to me like he probably, oh, I guess he can do left, right, and then down, double, right. That works. Okay. I wonder if he has Field Doctor. That'd be kind of cool. Field Doctor, Rotterdam, Plow, Land Surveyor. That would be quite a cool game.
I'm going to need either fishing or traveling players. So Ken, if Ken's going for those sheep. He might not need that much food, but he does need a food grab. Toolden, I think, is going to plow rather than take a food grab. And William has uh, won't need a food grab thanks to his landing net. So I think we're doing okay so far. I think I might get four food in round four. So, uh, second action is probably start player outhouse with the eye at two wood or four food in the next round. So that house is just a simple two resources for two points. Not not amazing. I mean, you have two point cards that are free, but it's all right. Bricklayer would have liked getting this back because he saves on the clay, of course. Ooh, sheep farm for for Ken. Okay, so Ken might decide that he needs a food grab. We'll have to see. I'm uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Do I play risky or do I play safe? I think the land surveyor doesn't need food. I think. Ken TW will read stone food over taking other stuff. Yeah, I think I can do four wood here. Yeah, because if Ken TW takes read stone food, that's enough food, and then he can build a room with his second action if he wants to. This is a little greedy, but I don't, I don't really think so. Because I think William probably is okay with doing two read, two food. And then Toolden, Toolden might fish or traveling players, but even if he does, his second action is plow. So he'll have more food than he needs, which, which is fine. Nothing wrong with getting more food than you need.
So, uh, just commenting in chat that I thought Land Surveyor's payout is way too low for what it does, and Seven Fields is too high for four food. Like, if you compare that to the Shoveler, Shoveler gives four food for five pastures, which is uh, easier to do, I think. Like, you pretty much never need Seven Fields. I think six would be reasonable for four food, but uh, especially because there are a lot of plows that, there are a couple, well, not a lot, there are a couple plows that would let you get to six fields at in a reasonable time. Yeah, Ken built the first room, unfortunately. That's all right. The other players are not in a position to build a room at the moment. I would expect Tulden's going to plow and William, what's William going to do? I don't know. He might take clay. He might take four wood. He might play an occupation. Oh, he's doing start player. Okay. Well, I think Tulden's plows, so then I do, I hopefully get six clay or five food. Both of those actions would be excellent for me. Ooh, family growth round five. So if Tulden's going to jump me with Field Doctor, he needs to plow and play Field Doctor. So, he can do that. So if I build a room first action, I should be ready to start player with my second action. And I have Artichoke Field, I have Threshing Machine Plow. Okay, I can afford to play both of those. Oh, Tulden grabbing wood again. Okay, so I'm definitely building a room. But I don't need to with this action even. So I'll say thank you for the five wood. Or five food. Ken finally building that fireplace. So his second action should be to build a, uh, to family growth. My second action will be build room, guaranteeing my family growth action in round, in the next round. Unless, we'll, uh, no, you know what, not even clay hut extension is enough, because Reno's not out. So I'm doing well. So what did Ken take from my first pile? He took um, Master Stableman over over uh, Cloister Dweller, which is a very interesting choice. Yeah, um, Tulden, this is interesting from Tulden. I, I wish, I wish he did, I hope he has a way of family growth, of doing family growth. Now, if he plays Cowboy and Mother, then I'll be, say, okay, this is working, gonna probably work for him. But, uh, I really, I like the field setup, and he had 10 wood, so I would have liked to just see him build a room and grow like normal. And I think he still would have had a great game thanks to the passive uh, income from his land surveyor. Plus, the Rotterdam plow lets him use up all his field tiles really easy, so he doesn't need that much wood for fencing, so he can fence really tightly. 
So I'll be interested to see what uh, what Tulden's doing. If he's doing Cowboy and Mother, then I mean, Family Growth is probably too early for him to win. Also, I'm really happy I took Village Fool if he has Cowboy and Mother. So Tulden went for those three sheep. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? I have enough food for the next harvest. I could play Reedstone Food to play Nail Basket. Um, I could play an Occupation so that I can play Absinthe. Uh, you know what? I, or four woods available. But I don't need four wood that much, do I? Maybe I'll just do Reedstone food here. I think Nail Basket will be quite nice for me. Yeah, if I can get my animal combo going earlier rather than later, that will be that will be strong. Sooner rather than later, I guess is the expression. Poor William really hoped for that Reno to come before family growth. So that's an RNG element in this game that can be frustrating because it can have quite a large impact, but I think the best players are able to mitigate that risk. Um, but yeah, of course it has a pretty big impact on the game. So how am I going to feed in the round 9 harvest? I need to think about that a little. I have 6, 7 food so I can play an occupation. Then if I'm going to play farmer as well, I'm going to need another 7 food. So probably a cooking hearth will be the easiest way. I do have cooking corner as well so it's extra worth playing. I probably want to try to have two cattle in the round 9 harvest so that I can breed them because then I can start eating them after that. And I have Tanner too which I would like to get out before I start eating too many boar or cattle. I hope Tulden has Field Doctor. It'll be really cool if he does. It's a bit like I'm speaking about myself in the third person, but uh, nope, there's a William in this game. Yeah, I like this from Ken. 
going to grab six wood with his first move next round. Nice. I'm going to want to start player at some point to play Threshing Machine Plow. But aside from that, I'm not in a huge rush with my occupations. Well, improvements, I should say. Although playing Absinthe would be nice. I think I can probably work Absinthe plus Nail Basket plus Hedge Keeper. I can make the one wood spot a wood stone food space. And if I just do that first action every time, that'll be pretty pretty reasonable, I think. I think it's unlikely to get blocked. Especially not with three wood available. Yeah, absolutely human. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's saying I was, he was confused seeing William in the game. So maybe this round I play an occupation and then I take clay, build the cooking hearth, something like that. Because I definitely need a way of feeding in that next harvest and animals look like a reasonable way to do that. So absolutely human, this is kind of a funny draft. I uh, I passed Cloister Dweller for Country Doctor, which Clo Cloister Dweller is the better card by power, but I think Country Doctor probably has the stronger effect. And uh, I actually got Cloister Dweller back fifth. However, at that point I had taken Farmer and um, I had taken Farmer and seen Tanner. So I was like, well, I have to take Hedgekeeper in this case. So I p actually, Ken, I think, got a Cloister Dweller with his sixth pick. Although Master Shepherd was in that pile too, so maybe William got Cloister Dweller with his seventh pick, which would be absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no uh, cheap occupation for me. Um, I'll do four clay for now. Yeah, because I think that first pile had Country Doctor, Master Stableman, Sheep Farmer, um, Hedge Keeper, and Cloister Dweller in the pack. It was really, really silly. Yeah, there, was some, there were some amazing combos. Like I saw Farmer, Hedge Keeper, or not Farmer, Hedge Keeper, I saw... Hedge Keeper plus Sheep Farmer and was in Master Stableman and I was like, oh my god, there's a great animal game here. So I think I'll start player Absinthe. Because I, I will need some more food in the next couple rounds. Oh man, and Tilden grabbed four clay. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to find a way around it. Um, I will start player with this move, though. I'll, yeah, I guess Ken has start player anyways, so doesn't help him particularly a lot. Last action here. Um, I 
I'm not sure. I would like enough clay to build a cooking hearth. And I don't have that at the moment. I could take two stone just in case my um, my stone from um, nail basket gets screwed over. Oh man, do I have to pass Ken 6 wood? Oh, I don't want to pass Ken 6 wood. But I don't need the wood myself. I Like, I have almost no need for wood for the rest of the game. Parquet Setter is going to give me everything that I need. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to gamble that I can... I'm going to be able to beat Ken. Just focus on my old ga own game, because my combos that I have I think are just like way too strong. I can build the well at this point too, which would be quite nice. Although if I build the well with this action, I don't have a stone to do... Um, nail basket. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind doing reedstone food. Oh, you know what? I'll gamble that Ken's not going to first action. You know what? No, I need the well, I think. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'll do the well. Okay. I have one too many food. I should have, I should have had zero, six food at the end of last round, right? I don't know where I got my second food from. So, do I play, I think, actually getting, um, hmm, getting a food, starting to get food from Parquet Setter might be nice. So I could do, but I think I want to do Farmer, definitely. I definitely want to play Farmer. So probably I play Farmer and then Fence with these two actions. And then I'll try to get four clay with my first move in round the next round and then play cooking hearth and then get more animals. So if I get two food next round, one from Absinthe, one from the well, I eat a boar, I'm still one food short. So I would need another food grab. So something like Reedstone food maybe. Reedstone food and then triggering my, well no, I would not be able to trigger my farmer. 
Hmm. I could always just do traveling players. Traveling players is my backup, I guess. Oh, tile maker. Okay, nice. So, gonna go for a clay house for sure. Not bother going to stone. I have nice improvement points already. Outhouse Nail Basket Absinthe well. Very nice. But yeah, I would really like to get Cooking Hearth as soon as possible. So that I can eat the boar income from Farmer and then I can eat vegetables when they come in round 11. Oh, ceramics, that's nice for William. Very nice. So I wonder if we'll see Ken build the pottery. Oh, Ken can't build the pottery. Nice. Yeah, that worked out well for him. I hope I keep start player for no work. That would be really that would be really nice to get four clay in this next round. Okay, um, yeah, I just, I think I'm just gonna fence here. I'm interested to see what Ken does here. I hope he doesn't take start player away from me. I promise I'll give you six wood again. <laughs> don't you get it? I don't need wood anymore. So tooled in, um, Got four food coming in from his land surveyor. He needs to feed five. So he's got enough food for the next harvest. William has five food already, and he can build the pottery, which is nice. So I think we're looking okay.
So at some point, I'm going to want to play Threshing Machine Plow. So when I do that, I'm not going to have enough income from Parquet Setter to keep up um, keep up my fencing. So I might need to do a reed. Like, Reedstone Food this round is maybe okay, because then I can start um, using the stone, stone to fence. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if Ken knows that he needs one more clay to be able to reno. Kind of surprised to see him play it at this time. If he does, if he does know that, usually you want to get your setup first. Bookmark here for Tuldin. I wonder what occupation he has in mind. Maybe it's like head of the family or something. That would be pretty silly. Just in time for family growth even without room. It's possible. Yeah, so this next move is either four food traveling players or reedstone food. Hmm. Both have their merits. Having too much food will be nice because I want to play Country Doctor at some point. Yeah, so maybe that's the way to go. So my round, my next round is, if I take four food traveling players, my next round is something like um, start player threshing machine plow, plow three fields, play country doctor. And then my round after that would be first action, so second action, fence maybe, third action, um, uh, family growth cooking corner. And then I could eat a vegetable that I harvest off of my fields. All right, that looks all right. I just wish I had something that let me play occupations easier, like writing desk or something. Although, to be fair, I haven't had the food for writing desk, but if I'd been able to play farmer and hedgekeeper with one action, I could have done stuff earlier. Oh man, not again. There's the pottery for William. Yeah, so Tolden's not looking like he's going to family growth, so Ken is going to reno grow next round. William has all his growth done. So yeah, I should be able to grow in round um, 11, no problem. Ooh, Tolden with farm steward. Okay, very interesting. So I actually will have competition.
So yeah, second action, definitely uh, to plow three fields. And then I get a food and a wood for my parquet setter for doing so at the end of the round. Oh, nice haystack for tool then. Really nice. So he's gotten his he got his feeding all set up. Decided, okay, my family growth can wait until. Yeah, okay. I changed my mind. Farm steward. Yeah, nice play. Really nice play by tool then. Very uh, creative way to play the game. So Ken doing reno joinery here, recognizing that I'm giving him a ton of great wood grabs. Nice play. I would maybe still have gone for stone oven just for the extra points, but still very, joinery is good too. Joinery is worth more points than stone oven if you max the bonus points. Like it's point ceiling is higher, but the immediate just straight up payout for stone oven is is better so yeah oh he also gets to build another stable again so that's handy what's the power level of haystack seems to get passed a lot yeah because usually by the time you get six animals it's like haystack is one wood for three for nine food like if like here it's worth 12 food for one wood so that's great that's really good but um, it doesn't have a point on it, and it comes late in the game, so I don't know. It's like it's not necessarily worth rushing to a stone house just to play Manservant. So Threshing Machine Plow is the plow that I played, and Haystack is the card that Tooldin just played for one wood for 12 food, which is good. And yeah, like I said, his feeding is, for the rest of the game, is in a really good spot. So I wonder what the odds are that Ken lets me grow ahead of him next round. Probably not good. So it's definitely worth it for me to get to a clay house because it's tile maker. So I will do, if I can't, uh, after I do so, I'll probably do reedstone food and then fence. And I'll use the uh, stone, I'll put it on uh, the one wood space. And so then I'll just for the rest of the game take one stone, one wood, and then use the stone defense. I imagine it'll go untaken every time. There might also be two cattle available, so I gotta keep that in mind. Maybe Ken will be um, drawn in by the two cattle. But yeah, the um, uh, absence plus well have been nice. Like in their t both of them at their full payout will pay for a full harvest in the middle of the game. So that's really nice. But I do need to get my animals going. I need a lot of animal points and I need a lot of crop points to 
uh, have a chance to win. Doing okay right now. I'm doing okay, but uh, I need probably getting family growth next round is pretty important. So if Ken could pass me family growth to take two cattle, that would be really cool. Ooh, and maybe with him taking those sheep, that's what he's thinking. He's making room for those uh, those cattle he's gonna grab. So let's see what Ken does here. Probably it's family growth. In that case, I get family growth in round 12, which is not terrible. Yeah, there it is, okay. Oh, it might be start player. No, it's family growth. I was hoping too much. Nice carpet, though. That must have been, that was definitely his first pick because I didn't pass it to him. Wow, Watermill. This is not a card you see played too often. I guess he's saving a clay on it, so it's a wood, a clay, a reed, and two stone. And it lets him turn a grain into three food. Yeah, I think it's like the first time in a thousand games that I've seen it played. So I grab Reedstone food here to get the reed to be able to reno and to grab the stone to be able to use Nail Basket. And so then I'm hoping, hoping that the four wood space does not get taken, although that's probably being over optimi overly optimistic. I could do plow and wait for the wood space to come become more available. I don't need defense here. But yeah, putting a stone on the two wood space should be reasonably safe, I think. No, Tulden took it. All right, uh, I'll just plow, that's fine. Yeah, when Franstech first got published, everybody was like first picking Haystack. And um, the Haystack Benefactor combo was like, and, and um, like Stage Star, cards like Stage Star, I remember seeing that a lot. Like every game, Benefactor, Haystack, like that combo was played a lot. Um, and I think Haystack was like being first picked a lot as well. But definitely have noticed that that has gone down.
Okay, what do I want to do with my first action here? Start player artichoke field to get family growth next round. Oh, what? Oh, I have to family growth here. That sucks. Oh, well, cooking corner is fine enough. So farm steward plus handmaid. Nice. Nice from tool then. So I would like to get start player with my second move to get family growth in round 13. Plow so also would be good. Oh, nice from Ken. Really nice. Changing plans. Yeah, I wondered about his fencing, or his uh, fields. It's a good start player move here. So I want uh, probably six clay and then defense. Need to keep fencing as much as I can for the rest of the game. Three clay is fine too, because I can play artichoke field. I don't have to play. If I got six clay, I would play fireplace or cooking hearth again. I could plow as well. Six clay so that I can reno, and then this last action could be two boar, it could be fence, it could be plow. Any of those moves would be great for me. I might also do Reno Fence in the last round, just depending on how the actions are going. Oh, Zoo Director. Really nice. That's, pro that's probably GG tool then. It probably is with the number of uh, animals he has. It's probably game for tool then. Really nice. I don't think I'm touching his. He's going to score high 40s, and I don't think I'm going to make that. I maybe should have fenced or plowed there because it is possible that I get um, that I'm gonna get enough uh, fence actions for the rest of the game, but I might get blocked out of plows for filling up my farm. So that might have been a mistake there. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking first action start player to play artichoke field, and then I'm gonna want to grab grain. And I'm going to want to um, fence and reno. And yeah, I got lots of stuff to do. Take sheep. So much to do, so little time.
I guess I have to think about how good Plowso is for me. Um, I guess its main benefit is it's two points plus all the food I need in round 14. That's the... That's what it does for me. So I have to compare that against... So I guess, okay, the combination of star player plus, so I have to factor that. Because I do have five food, and then I'm going to get an... Uh, I have another free four food from vegetables. But if I sow one more time, then I'm going to have way more vegetables than I need. So that'll be fine. But... Even grabbing grain is only two points. It won't gain me any more grain. Too bad I couldn't have played uh, family growth in round one round earlier. For my second growth, that is. Let's see what William does. I think it's probably family growth, but you never know. Also, if I fence once more, I get to three cattle, which breed twice more as five cattle. So I have an additional eight food coming in already. Yeah, so I'm definitely doing family growth here. Family growth is three points plus I get the extra, extra action back. So yeah, that's better than getting plow so next round for me. And I think start player will probably get taken, but then hopefully I can get plow. And then I have take sheep, and I have plow a field, and I have fence. So I still have lots of moves that are worth, worth stuff to me. Yeah, so that family growth actually is really good for me. How's it good to do in Star Player just to get it? So that works out nice. Oh, that's start player for Ken for sure. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that's really too bad for me. Well, maybe Plow will come around. Oh, yeah, William looks like he's not plowing. And Tulden can't plow. Okay, so Plow's coming back. So that's something. So I get Plow, and then I fence and take sheep, maybe. I guess I should consider Meadow here, because Meadow will let me cover a lot more spaces than I could otherwise. So if I take sheep with my first move, second move, uh, then or pl I'll plow with my first move. I need to con yeah, I definitely need to consider taking sheep for sure, so that I can play Meadow. I could Reno take sheep, Reno Meadow. And then something else. I will gamble on getting um, my meadow playoff in the last round. I think I probably should be able to. Because, yeah, Meadow will let me cover two extra spaces. 
So if I can cover two extra spaces, then that's two extra points. So yeah, it's worth playing, I think. Raises my point ceiling a little higher. If I hadn't plowed, I could have done four extra spaces. So the plow is just as good as not plowing, actually. So that was a mistake. But if I get if I get plow again in the next round, then plow is then doing plow is better. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, that plow is probably a mistake. Probably it was better to just get my meadow off here. Other thing about Meadow is that if it lets me fence multiple times, it gets me more cattle, which are worth points. Shipyard for Tolden. Interesting. Uh, so, I think I don't fence here. Uh, so if I don't fence, I grab sheep, I guess. And then I also want to do um, take rain, probably couple two-point actions, get rid of my negatives. And then I can feed everything I have plus a vegetable. So maybe I will reno meadow with this last move here. So I'm pretty sure William needs to first action fence, because otherwise he's in danger of losing it. Or he might first action take four stone. Both of those are possibilities for him. Yeah, because if he takes four stone, then Reno fence is safe for him. And then if he doesn't fence, then my fence should be safe, because I have two spaces I can do it on.
All right. Let's see what Toolden does. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to play it safe. Okay, my plow action is totally safe, so that's good. Um, so bake is not that desirable for anyone other than me. So I think I just am going to play it safe and take my fencing here. So I'm getting a food and a wood before the end of this um, game. So I can eat the food, and then I can eat a vegetable and a cattle. But if I do a sow action, then I can eat mul multiple vegetables, and it's no, no problem at all. Yeah, so the, so the nice thing about uh, Meadow is that it lets me do more than 15 fences. With Hedgekeeper, I want to do as many fences as I possibly can. So that's worked out nicely for me. So I might want to do So Bake with this next move. So then this move, probably so baked just to get it out of the way. Although all this is for me is food. And it's not really worth many points to anyone else. So I could take wood and then build some stables. Maybe I should build two stables here. I don't have a use for the wood otherwise. Because I can always take traveling players and eat a cattle, and that's enough. It's basically enough. Maybe I should have been more patient with the stable building there, but William might build one stable. He's got six wood that I don't see any other use for. And he's running out of moves. Yeah, so my advantage over Toolden is um, he has way more animal points than me, but I have way more improvement points than him. So I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but we'll see.
So that's worth something for me. And then my last two moves probably plow and take grain. Yeah, so I've got the tile maker bonus, but other than that, I score what I score plus three only. Yeah, this is not going to be enough to win. That's too bad. Not sure where my score will be, but not going to be enough. Yeah, so William didn't even play Cloister Dweller. So I uh, I could have taken three wood because this last move is going to be a one wood move a one point move instead of a two point move. Yeah, Tulden crafted an excellent, very cool game. Two rooms all the way, you know, seemed to get good enough actions in spite of not growing early. He did craft a really nice game. Oh, I should have done major minor with that move, or, or SP minor with that move, because now I might get blocked out of another point. Oh well. If I do, it'll be my own fault. Yeah, so Tulden managed 50. I'm sure I'm not at 50. Not with the minus from grain. And uh, my house is too small. I do have decent improvement points, but not going to be enough. Yeah, 52. So Tulden forgot about Tilemaker, I guess. Come on, Ken. What, what are you doing? You've got joinery. Just take wood. Wow, so I almost I almost won. I managed fifty. So, um, yeah, I was one cattle short of another point and no grain. And uh, so I could have got 51 if I planned the end of my game better. 
Um, yeah, but that's okay. That's a fun game. Really fun game. Um, Twilden absolutely did craft a uh, really nice game. Um, Yeah, um, so I managed 50. It's a good score, really good score. Um, honestly, if I grow one round earlier, that's the difference. Like, it's another point or two points. But that's okay. Very cool game. Yeah, I have a negative point from Grain. Other than that, my uh, improvements are pretty nice. Didn't manage to play Village Fool or Tanner. That's a, and, and that's the thing. If I get my cattle out earlier, I can play Tanner instead of Cooking Corner. And I can do some cool stuff there. So yeah, um, cool. Uh, Meadow actually ended up being really nice. Um, Threshing Machine Plow, of course, is great. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a cool game. Cool game. Um, like the Vegetable Importer plus Cooking Corner was nice. I had a lot of really good combos. Um, what was the difference? What could have gone better? Well, if I could have grown one round earlier with my f Country Doctor or at the start of the game. Both of those are pretty big improvements. Also, my feeding through the middle of the game was not that strong. Absinthe and Well were good, but then they needed help from other stuff. Although I am really happy, I got every single food from Absinthe, which is really, that's really rare to have happen. So that worked out nicely. Um, yeah, cool goop. Got to five family members. You know, my farm is about as complete as it could be. I could have two more stables with one more move. So that's that's probably the difference. One more move is either two stables or a grain. And both of those are worth quite a bit. But yeah, it was fun. Um, I'll do a quick look at the draft. Although I know I picked all the high power cards because I got past some crazy good stuff by Tulden. But even with him passing me all that stuff, he still won, so well played by him. So, uh, didn't take Cloister Dweller. What would Cloister Dweller have been worth to me? I had a funny layout of my farm. So yeah, actually with um, Rushing Machine Plow, Cloister Dweller would have been really bad. So I took the next best card, which is Country Doctor. And here, Farmer over Stockman. I'm actually surprised we didn't, we never saw Stockman from the uh, Master, Master Stableman. And then I took Village Fool. So Tile Maker actually would have been really good for me. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe not. Village Fool was okay. Gardener would have been worth something. Yeah, I don't know. Veg veggie Importer, best card there. So again, I pass Cloister Dweller, but I have Farmer in my hand and I get Hedge Keeper. So yeah, I don't know how. How could I pass that one up? And then there's horsemen in that pile too. Really crazy. My first pack was really, really silly. Really silly strong. Tanner, best card there. Parquet setter, best card there. So here I took Ab uh, Artichoke Field over Absinthe. But I got Absinthe back. Man, people undervalue Absinthe so much. 
And then Threshing Machine Plow, best card by Power. Uh, so Cooking Corner, worse than Fish Trap. But I only read Stone Food, went on read Stone Food once. Or was it twice? Or three times? <laughs> I don't know. I had I had Miner back up at the beginning of the game. Like, actually all game. Like, having to start player Threshing Machine Plow and then Plow immediately after. That's not uh, not necessarily ideal. Yeah, Cooking Corner, really good. Meadow, good. Absinthe, great. Nail Basket. Yeah, I mean, I took all the good cards. Fruit Tree House wouldn't have been worth anything. Outhouse would have been good. But yeah, um, that's all for me. Congrats to Tulden, nice game. Um, I still managed 50, which I'm pretty happy with. Strong game. Um, could have been 51 easily. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching, you guys. Um, obviously Human says, it's kind of surprising how low the power is on Twillery's Garden. I get why, but it's still a bit surprising. You're absolutely right, because the, the effect just seems so strong of Twillery's Garden. But, uh, I think the problem is, it means you don't play the well. So three stone and one wood for only one point is actually, for an improvement, is really bad. Like, compare that to the well, it's an extra three points. But you would think, man, it saves you so many actions. You plow four times, you get max, you get four fields, max vegetables, and three points from grain. And that's so strong. But uh, I think the problem is the timing of Tuileries Garden. And you really need something like uh, Hayrake with it. If you have Hayrake and you can do unblockable plow actions at the end of the game, I think Tuileries Garden is great. But yeah, definitely, that's another card that when France deck first came out, similar to Haystack, its power has just plummeted. Well, maybe it's not that its power plummeted, but that people were overvaluing it so much, like picking it really early because it looks so cool, and then we've sort of realized, you know, hey, this card is actually not that useful. But yeah, um, I'll probably play another game. So if you wanna, if you're watching live, please do stick around. I'm gonna take the stream down momentarily. Follow you watching on YouTube.